Computer. Enable guest mode. Good afternoon. Guest mode has been enabled for today. So in this video, we are going to tackle a to-do list item that I have. Let's go to our to-do list. And what I'd like to do is this guest mode feedback. So I have a text-to-speech system that works with, uh, it works with the Google Chromecast. So I can ask my Echo devices to turn on uh, or turn off certain input Booleans that I have enabled. And then based on that, my speech will come over the Google Chromecast. So what I'd like to do is I have a guest mode for the house and what that does is it basically disables a lot of the automations that I have uh, because when when we're not there, when the two phones, when mine and my wife's phone leave the house, the house thinks that we're gone and then it starts shutting things down. So if we have a babysitter, if grandparents are over, if people are here and our phones are not, we can enable guest mode, which will basically just temporarily disable a lot of those. So what I'd like is I'd like to be enabled. I'd like to be able to enable guest mode, and then have some audio feedback from my text-to-speech system that says guest mode is enabled. This way, we know that it went through. So here's Adam. Uh, I was looking at this prior, so I did a quick search against my entire repo. This is the entire project for the word guest mode. Guest mode is my input boolean. So this is the input. Whoops. This is the input Boolean that I use. So you can see, if I scroll up and down, you can see basically it's used for conditions. So we check the condition. We make sure that guest mode is off before we do a lot of different things. The only place where this is an actual automation is on our sunrise. So once a day, if I click here, Basically, once a day, we have this sunset. So basically, at night, uh, we turn lots of lights on, outdoor, outdoor lights, and then when the sun rises, there's an offset of up to two, well, there's an offset of two hours before sunrise. We go ahead and we make sure that, again, all the interior lights are off. We turn off the landscaping. We tweet out that we're turning off everything. Um, we then wait a random amount of time and then we shut down the exterior lights uh, and then basically all the lights. We wait for the sun to come up and then we turn these additional lights off as well. And then in addition, in addition to that, we also reset all of our daily variables. So this is a medicine variable for when I take my medicine. This is a daylight override. So sometimes it gets dark in my office and uh, I enable the daylight override so that the office lights will turn on even though it's still daytime. And then the last one we reset is our guest mode. So once a day, so if we enable guest mode, that following morning it gets reset to off and then it's ready for another day. So this is the only place it is. So what I'd like to do is I, I'd, I'd like to take this announcement I'm going to duplicate it and we're going to call this guest mode. I like doing everything uh, lowercase. So guest mode. So here's our guest mode. Uh, we're going to just say input boolean dot guest mode. And I think initially I think initially I'm just going to say everything. So we'll say from off. So we'll just do from off. So if it goes, if the state goes from off uh, to on, and what we're going to do is we're going to use our speech engine. So we are going to just do, let's go to our speech engine and just take a look at what those variables were. Value one. So, so value one is just a generic variable that I, that I can send to the speech engine and it'll just say whatever's in value one. 
So that's what I'm going to do. We're gonna do value one. So we'll jump back to guess mode and we're gonna change this to value one. I don't need to do anything fancy here. So we're gonna get rid of this. We can still have a random saying, although I think we're just gonna end up having one for the most part. So let's just get rid of all of this. And we're just gonna probably just leave one. These are, these are the random sayings from my announcements. So when people, when people come home, then the system just announces, you know, Carlo has arrived and it uses one of these random, random sentences. So what we're going to say is we're going to say guest mode has been enabled for today. Uh, we'll make it random. This way, if I want it, this way, if I want to add more, the structure is already there. All you need to do is just put a comma and then another, another statement uh, and then it would work. And then we don't need to do a greeting. We're not going to call responsibilities. Responsibilities is another part of the script that just when, when the house begins to talk, I will call different subroutines. So call responsibilities will check to see whose day it is for the kids chores. Actually, I'm going to leave that in there. No announcement. Uh, we can leave. We'll check to see if the garage doors are open and we'll check to see if any windows are open. So this all looks good. Oh, and then we have to change the alias. So we will call this one guest mode feedback. Guest mode audio feedback. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we will save this. So that is saved. Let's go to our putty session for home assistant. We'll restart that because what we want to do whenever we make changes, we want to run that config check. So, pass. and we'll make sure no errors come up. Ooh, so we do have uh, we do have an error. Oh, it's because I have this end macro. Uh, that's why. get rid of that. We're going to save that and we're going to try that again. This is why it's really important to test your config as you're making changes. Perfect. So we have no errors. Testing config worked good. So this is 459. We're going to say updates. 459 enables, enables guest mode feedback. That's perfect.